today I'm going to be reviewing a nail polish brand I'd never heard of before, but I did get in one of my Ipsy bags a few months ago. It's by a brand called Fluid. At least I think that's how it's pronounced, Fluid. Yes, we can see how chipped my polish is at this point, but we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. But um, I'm very intrigued by this. Uh, first off, the name is Secret Project Robot. Kind of strange. But, um, but what intrigues me by this company is the fact that they're a brand that is really intended for, like, all genders, all identities. Like, they really go out of their way pushing the gender fluid thing, which I think is kind of cool that they do that. Uh, they have a lot of colors and things. It's not huge yet. They have, like, some lip products and things, too, actually. Uh, they're kind of pricey for my budget, but I got it in an Ipsy bag, therefore it's okay. Um, and hey, what do you know? It actually has a little ball bearing in it to mix it with, thank God. Do you know how much it has pissed me off that so many nail polishes have stopped using those? I'm sorry, they do not mix as well if you don't have the little ball in there. I said it, unpopular opinions, don't care. Anyway, so I was really excited because the shade of blue is gorgeous. Um, it's almost strange to me that there's literally no info on the back at all. I'm so used to them having stuff printed on the backs of the bottles. I'm like, oh wow, that looks really weird seeing them that doesn't have it. And just the design of it looks like a little ice cube almost. It's, it's so cute. I like the way it's designed. The price point is 15 bucks for one bottle though. So I'll enjoy this bottle, but I don't think I'm going to be buying again. Uh, so these are seven free, which um, it means it does not contain formaldehyde, toluene, DBP, xylene, camphor, phthalates, or TPHP. So that's kind of cool. Still contains ferric ferrocyanide, but I mean, other than that, but um, it, it's seven free anyway. Yeah, I know, I, I'm like really hung up on that one ingredient ever since I found out what it is, but still, it's really pretty. And I was really intrigued for it being a brand that I've never so much as heard of before, yet has a great mission statement. I was like, I wonder how it holds up, though, because when it comes to indie brands and Ipsy, generally, I've had pretty good luck with them actually being really good quality and I'm guessing it's just that they're like up-and-comers and Ipsy wants to support these smaller businesses and I love it because they're actually really good. This actually held up better than I was expecting. Usually, on average, I get about one week at best before my nails start chipping, usually at least one of them in the shower, the back edge will have peeled up and pulled the whole thing off. It just, I don't know, maybe that's just me. This is with a top coat. Actually, in the case of this one, it's even with a base coat too because I was really concerned about the blue staining my nails, which even with a base coat still happened a little bit on this one. It's very yellowy at the tip of this one, but I, I guess I didn't put down a thick enough base coat on that nail or something, I don't know, but, um, or maybe it's from whatever color I had on before and I just didn't notice. I'm not sure, but I think that's the only one I've had that issue with, but for this vibrant of a blue, I would recommend put down a base coat first, protect your nails, guys, protect your nails. Um, but it did hold up better than I thought because around the usual point that they start chipping for me, um, that is where, like, it was still fine. Um, the one week mark was when I started to notice fraying along the tips and things, um, but it was still very minimal, so I was like, I'm gonna wait to see how long it takes to get bad enough to where it's usually like what most of them look like at the one week mark. Two weeks to the day of putting this on, and this is our results. No touch-ups. I mean, that, obviously it's very chipped on some, but overall, um, this actually didn't hold up terribly. And this is with having played string instruments and everything, too, with this on. It still held up exceptionally well, all things considered. Especially this hand, the strumming hand, because I wasn't using a pick. And if that's the worst of the damage, that's actually really good. So, um, most of the chipping oddly happened on this hand. Not even sure what's up with that. Most of it on this nail right here. I really don't know what the hell happened there, but that seems to be the one that just wants 
this off. I don't know. That's the one that in the shower every freaking time. This was the problem nail. So whatever. But um, yeah, it held up a lot better than I expected. Uh, the dry time wasn't terrible. Uh, fumes on this one. Do I remember? I feel like this one was a fumey one. I know this is not the most genius way of doing this, but I have to refresh my memory. Whew. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, alright. Had to refresh my memory, but yeah, I thought I remembered it being a fumey one. It, it is a fumey one. I couldn't remember if it was this one or the one before it that I wore. It's this one. But, um, another cool thing with the product design. It's got a rubberized grip for the lid, or not the lid, the cap. So it actually isn't as slippery as you're brushing it on your nails. You have a better grip with that. It's almost exactly the same texture as an EOS, which, you know, I'm already fond of right there, but I was just like, oh, that's actually really nice. That feels, like, really fancy having that on a nail polish bottle. It's very velvety. I'm like, ooh. But, um, yeah, it's 10 milliliters. It's a decent-sized bottle, but, I mean, 15 bucks. Ouch. I mean, at least for me. I'm a little Miss Drugstore makeup over here, but for some of you, 15 bucks may be cheap compared to what you usually use or right on par, I don't know, but um, it is intriguing and it does stay on pretty darn well for pretty much double the length of time that I would normally get out of a nail polish, so and that's with, I work with my hands that's with, I wash my hands a zillion times a day, that's with, I play string instruments, and it still took that long before it finally got really ratty looking just saying, I am actually pretty pleased with that. I'll definitely be wearing more of that in the future, even with, you know, being weirded out by that one chemical in it. The other reason I put down a base coat, I was like, let's put as much distance between my body and that chemical as possible, even though I've found um, just how many eye products I own that have that in it, too, where I'm putting it directly on my lids, and it's no doubt getting in my eyes, and I haven't dropped dead from it, so I mean... There's that. Apparently most things that have, like, really vibrant blues in cosmetics often contain that. Just as an aside, look at the ingredients of your makeup. Y you'll find it in a ton. So, I mean, it's not that this is a bad brand for using it. it. It's a lot more common than you realize. It just, I only recently learned of it, so I'm easily spooked still from it. But, um, I don't know. I, I think I would give this one... Four out of five. I'm not going to give it the five out of five because of the heavy fumes, and it wasn't the quickest dry. It didn't take forever to dry, but I, I did wish it would have dried a little faster than it did. Um, and the price point. Those, you know, that, for me, that, that's enough to drag down the score. But ultimately, it's pretty good. I, I would recommend it if you're willing to spend that much on nail polish. If you're not in the habit of spending that much on nail polish, uh, don't let this be your foray into it. I, I think there's much better options out there that you could get cheaper than this that are actually better quality. But if you're used to spending this much just in general, you know, you might want to uh, try one of these out. They have um, an interesting array of colors. They're, it's not the hugest rainbow yet, but I think they're still getting off the ground. But uh, they have, like, the primary colors, and they have some metallics. They haven't really gotten far beyond that yet, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, I'm interested to see what they do, and I love their mission statement, so just saying. Anyways, that is it for this one from me. I don't have much else to say here. I, I think I would, if it weren't for the price tag, maybe I could overlook the other details that I pointed out that dragged down the score. Maybe I would give it the five, but that price point, though, mm, nah. So, anyway, that is it for me for this one, so you guys know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Have you guys tried this brand before? What did you guys think of it? Um, or just anything about anything at all, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. So anyway, guys, till next time. Bye-bye.